So we are in, uh, is that right then here? Yes! Yes, lovely. Wow, magnificent. Thank you very much. And fish of the day. Beautiful free body. <laughs> So it's time to say thank you so much to Paul Bocuse for his legacy and to Gerard for being able to recreate this legacy. Well, it was fantastic at the very young age of uh, 18, nearly 19, to be in partnership with Gerard and Robin. And the things that Gerard taught me, I've never ever forgotten for the rest of my life, and I've applied them to many other forms of business. So it's a great honor to be, him, uh, be here with him today. And this, of course, was our fantastic article in The Age Good Food Guide. When Claude Farrell um, came and ate at our restaurant, we were all very nervous, but we got a great review, and we're very happy and I'm pleased to be with Gerard, the star today. Hello, Gourmet, Gourmet friend and kind fisherman. Today, something special. I'm going to introduce, you, to introduce you, my business partner, Andrew, from Geelong. We have been in Geelong for now, what, uh, 35 years? 35 years, yes. yes. And yes. I remember Andrew, the young man, 18 years old, come and he asked me if he wanted to be my partner. There you are, they become a partner. And of course, Andrew coming in my restaurant with his youth, his immaculate presentation and his style. Not long before we got rewarded by the good food guy in Geelong. Yeah, and I'm so excited today to cook one of the fantastic dishes uh, we have had in Lyon yeah. from Paul Bocuse. Yeah, and that's uh, true. like we used to serve in the restaurant. So today, Beautiful, good Andrew. luck, chef. I'll be making you catching onions. Don't make me work too hard, huh? <laughs> Don't make me work too hard. Uh, today with Andrew, we're going to do this beautiful fish. So, okay. Yeah. What what sort of fish is this? Did you catch it? <laughs> no, this one. No. Can you see the fish? Yeah. Beautiful fresh fish, uh, yeah. Trevally. Trevally. Very nice. A bit like the one of Bocuse in France. Mm. They use the loup. Uh, how do you know it's it, it fresh or it's defrosted? Oh, yeah, it's fresh. I just bought it yesterday. Yeah. And also, good question, Andrew. You can see with the eyes shining. The scale shining too, yes. and the gill, over the gill they remove it, but you can see also a little bit of uh, Pink and fresh. fresh blood inside, Yeah, and to tell you that's a really fresh fish. Okay, so what's the main concept of cooking this fish? Ah, see, do you remember in the restaurant, we put the fish like that, and we cover with uh, filo pastro, that we make, the good filo yes. pastro, and the place that we're going to fill uh, the guts with herbs, and cottage cheese and fresh spinach that we got yeah. the other day from the garden and we make a pastry, cook in the oven and when it comes back it's a nice effect. Ah, it's like a fish sausage roll. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you Andrew, yes. yeah, you have, your job is to cut it in front of the customer. In front of the customer, okay. okay. Yes. And uh, as you do all the yes. time, remember that? Yes. And I'll be yes. putting the sauce Fantastic. and we'll be trying having a glass of wine on that. That sounds okay. very good. That sounds good. <laughs> Now, now, this fish, we are going to remove the skin. Easy. What you do, a sharp knife, and you cut. See? You remove the skin, and then... You skin the rabbit, like you skin the rabbit. With good scissors, you remove uh, the scale there. Remove the scale. And we can reduce a little bit the end, a bit long for the dish. We're dressing the fish. Now you remove the skin and you do the back. Now, now what's happened? You open here huh, the cavity and we'll be putting the herbs. But all you have to do is remove this little part of bones. 
Easy, see these bones? You remove it? Yeah, but what, do you, what about all the rest of the bones? The, the backbone and... Oh, the backbone. That's the best. We keep the bone inside. It gives a good taste. It's like a lamb chop. It's better than a medallion of lamb. Okay, Andrew, you have seen now, um, we are going to do the, the stuffing. It will be a combination of, uh, you know, fresh from the garden. Yes. The spinach with uh, cottage cheese and pine nuts, garlic, one egg, cheese, lemon juice, and a little bit of uh, to cook. Okay. All right, so I'll show you what to do. You remove the skin and you put that, and yeah. we're going to wash them, okay? okay yeah. We're going to wash that. All right. You want me to do that? Yeah, and I'm yeah. not your apprentice, huh? Oh, come yeah. on, remember, no. we, we, we do together. Okay, we do. We, 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 we do together. Do together. Okay, we, right. we're in a team. <laughs> but we always been in a team, huh? Together. Yeah, okay? we need to get. Uh, That's right. Uh, no. Apprentice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Starting the lawn mower. You warm up a pan on this beautiful electric stove. Uh, now, that the butter clarified. And we add some garlic, put the garlic in here. I don't cut them because we want to remove after. Just warm up a little bit. See, beautiful. That's already smelled good. We put a little bit of uh, lemon juice. Now be careful, it's dangerous. Don't sit too close. And we put the spinach. And we wait. And we cook for two minutes. And Andrew, come on, you have to put the salt on the oh, oil. do that. How much salt? Yeah. So we have this salt. beautiful salt. It's actually uh, from France. That's a uh, fleur de sel. Fleur de sel. Yeah, very yes. nice. It's not in the right container. Okay. Yeah. Fleur de sel. Yeah. And, 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 and just some pepper. pepper. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Done. Good assistant. Good apprentice. Thank you, Andrew. Now, I put the lid. Well, now, we have the spinach cooked, Andrew. And you add the cottage cheese. We put some nice grated cheese. Then an egg. And the famous pine nuts and they'll be giving a nice flavor. Well, why don't you put any cream, Gerard? Uh, you know the cream? Uh, if you put cottage cheese, it's more noble. Now, what's happened? When you put that in your uh, uh, stuffing, it's a wet stuffing. When it's cooking, that gives uh, the moisture to help to cook the fish. Okay, then okay, the okay. fish is not dry. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're going to fill up the herbs in the back. Right, yes. Okay? Ah, uh, because here yeah, you have to help me. Can you put salt? You have to put a lot uh, of salt. A, yeah. lo a lot of salt? Yeah, yeah, the fleur de sel. The fleur de sel, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, okay? Okay. Now, in the back, we fill up with all the herbs, tarragon, okay? And that will be giving a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, get tarragon. Yeah. All right. Now, in the back, in the guts, we're going to Fill up with the mixture we did uh, before. With the spinach. I think yeah. I put too much, it's okay. All right. Yep. Now we're going to put that in a tray. Yes. With oil. Oil. Okay, you, you got the tray there? We got the tray here, okay. ready? So you want to transfer? Okay, yeah, 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 put that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And we're going to prepare the pistro. Hello. now, normally we can put that uh, marinated. We're going to do oil. My oil. What's, like, it? What's in the oil? Can you see there? In my olive oil, I have some uh, like uh, polbocus, rosemary, thyme, tarragon, and sage, and that give a very nice flavor. And what's wrong with my oil? Ah, uh, it's good. No, we can do both. Look, look, listen. I put one side there. Uh -huh. Put your own one, Andrew. Because this oil, it's actually from my friends. Ah, really? You, you, you've met them at my ah, wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made the wine. You know, the wine lasts, yeah, the ah, wine yeah. lasts longer than yeah, yeah. the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> but they make a beautiful, <laughs> organic good. olive oil. Fantastic. Just okay. from Wellington Peninsula. I trust you. Well, yeah. put, put it yourself. Yeah. 
and okay, uh, put it here. Yeah. Put, put the yeah. beautiful yeah. organic olive oil from beautiful. the peninsula. And now we can put that in a, in the fridge. Yes. And uh, we're going to do the pastry now. You know, Andrew. Uh, uh, after one hour, the fish in the fridge marinade. I can. I can mm, smell nice, it. Fantastic. Right? Huh? Yeah. So, all right. Because a little bit too short, we have to Merge put them, them together. Yep. Now, I just show you uh, okay. uh, at La Triano, yeah, uh, Andrew, we yeah. do our own fresh filo pastro, then yeah. we sure it's full of butter. <laughs> uh, the pastry maybe they put margarine. Okay. Okay, well that's uh, filo pastro from Pampas or whatever. I'll be using this one just to show you it's still okay. It'll be the bottom the base of the fish. How so do you join them? We judge just like that. Okay. The flour <laughs> and then okay. Okay. See? Long enough for the dish yep. to put the fish. Okay. Okay. Like that. Yep. Okay? Yep. Okay, all right. Good. That's it. Hello. Can you go fishing? Okay, I'll go fishing. <laughs> here's, here's something I prepared earlier. Ah, yeah, yeah. look, Andrew is a fantastic <laughs> chef extraordinaire. Okay. All right, now, put that here. Perfect. All right, good. That's yeah, good, good fit. Okay, now quickly we do, uh, uh, I'll make my own pastry. This one, it's a proper, Filo pastry, like we used to do yeah. in the Trianon. Yes. Like every chef in the world know how to do a filo pastry. Hey, Andrew, remember? A lot of people, they do that. Yeah. No, you have to put the pressure on the handle. Otherwise, you have no control. Jared, it seems like a lot of pastry. How much pastry do you need for one fish? Oh, if you, uh, one fish, in total, 700 grams will be plenty. Wow. And so what would you have here now? I, I put 700. This one's 700. 700. 700, okay. okay. That was supposed to do the bottom right. and the top. So right. what's happened, you see, I got too much. I'll be putting half. Well, you should have caught a bigger fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's not lost, Andrew. With the leftover of filo pastry, we can make a cheesy twist or, or crouton for decor. Remember, Andrew, our special crouton for the crayfish. For you, the fish. Oh, la baby. Fantastic. Okay, like a little baby. Hello, what's happened? We forgot to, uh, to firstly put the egg wash on the side. Oh, egg wash over there. Oh, yeah. Egg wash. I'll see. All that. And what, you have to egg wash is, all is, around. Is it like glue, huh? It, it helps yeah, to stick. Yeah, because like that you can put the... Okay? Yeah. You be sure you put plenty all around the fish. Right. See, the baby is always covered like a nice little blanket. Yes. Can you feel? Yeah. Oh. Oh, baby. You press like that. Be sure there's no air bubble. We're going to do a little bit of uh, presentation. Yes. So it looks like a big ravioli. Okay. Oh. All right. No, no. You have to put plenty of... We do. It's a nice fish. We're going to give him a nice... Uh, alors, for his eyes. The eyes here. <laughs> and we draw his mouth. Is a nice fish. It's smiling. It can swim. So yeah, but don't make it too hard for me to serve. No, you have no, too no. many fancy things. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's okay. Now on the tail, Sam. Yep. You got the tail, huh? Yeah. Okay, one little. Yes. Okay. So 
fantastic. This one, it can go very far. I have a suggestion. May that, yes. Hey. I have something for you. Ah, yes. Good idea. This one we put an eye. Oh, you're very clever, Andrew. <laughs> a fish needs scales. It's a piece of art, Gerard. You go quick, we know. Hello, your oven is on? The oven is on, yes, yeah, chef. So what we'll do, you got your freezer on. I have to put that in the freezer because the dough is too soft. You want to go to the freezer or the fridge? Yeah, and we put that for 10 minutes in the fridge or five minutes in the freezer. Now ready to cook the, the fish? Uh, we have the fish from the fridge. Bon voyage. Okay, now we put the pan. And uh, we're going to make the sauce with herbs. So, butter. Okay. Now that's a clarified butter. Yes, the clarified butter resists higher temperature without burning. So, less cancer. Hello, you put your ingredient. The ingredient are garlic. Then your famous shallots. And your herbs. We'll make a lot of parsley, tarragon. Homegrown tarragon, thank you very grown. much, yes. Yeah, homegrown, oh, from no. Andrew. <laughs> okay. And now, I add the red vinegar. Mm. Mm. Can you smell it? It's yeah. like uh, when we do a bear maize. Yes, reduction. And? Oh, uh, that's, oh not, for me, not for me? No, oh, no, 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 no. What one? Ah, uh, chef, what do you drink? Nothing. Nothing for the chef. That's not good. The chef is in strike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for some salt, Gerard, you tell yep, me, a little, little bit. bit. So, beautiful. A little bit. And, and some pepper. Yep, pepper. A little bit. Beautiful. It's enough, chef? That's enough. Great. Now, I'll put some water. Well, uh, why you put water in? Yeah, because, uh, you know, to compensate the um, uh, the evaporation of the vinegar, ah. and we have a beautiful uh, sauce. And now we're going to mount, mount it with the butter. Ah, uh, yes, so like a beurre okay. blanc with, with like herbs. Like a beurre blanc, with and herbs. what we'll be doing, beautiful. we'll be turning like that. No yep. need with. Yep. Okay. I attract your attention, you have to use the butter. It's a fresh, soft butter, temperature of the room. All the milk uh, product uh, inside the butter will act like a thickener for the sauce. And if you add the cold butter, it, the sauce will curl and separate, and then it'll be good for the bean. That's the second time you put herbs in at the beginning for yeah. flavor, and again. Okay, okay, it's good. Nice color. Yeah. Can you smell? Yes, oh, smells smell fantastic. Good. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to put the, the butter. And we do like a, the beurre blanc. Yes. And you, know, you turn like that. Yep. You turn it on the. Yep. And you say, look, it's made, make a beautiful sauce. Yep. Beautiful. And we're going to pull, filter that. And we're going to have the sauce ready. Yep. As you can see, yep. beautiful sauce. It's a traditional and a special recipe from uh, Paul Bocuse. Yeah. Right. Well, now fantastic. we're going to put that in uh, a strainer. Yes. And in the meantime, the fish may be ready. You remove all the herbs and mm. the chalet. You don't keep them? Or you can use uh, something else, uh, not important. It's not, okay, so you just use the sauce at the end. Okay, and you got this beautiful sauce ready. Oh. You put it uh, in the saucer. Fantastic. Okay, we'll be warming up a little bit just before. Put that in the bain Keep warm in the bain Yep. Yeah. And the fish will be ready soon. Oh, Andrew, that you did very well. So uh, we're going to show our viewer how to do it. Fantastic. All right. Thank you, Gerard. The fish of Paul Bocuse. So it's time to say thank you so much to Paul Bocuse for his legacy and to Gerard for being able to recreate this legacy. 
So now we're going to start by removing the pastry. So I'm going to go slowly under here and uh, remove the pastry first. Place that here. It's a little bit like doing Peking duck, but the French version. I'm going to move that off here. Taking away the pastry. And you can remove the tail as well. So I just take that there. Nobody wants to eat the tail. So we have the beautiful fish underneath. Take some more pastry here. And I can uh, gradually get underneath there and there. And come here and gradually take off all of this beautiful pastry. And underneath, whoa, we have the stuffing we can see now. We can be revealed. Fantastic. Look, everything is good. And then I'm going to get rid of the next piece of pastry. Here. Yes. No problem. Coming off. And I take here. And uh, no worries. So then what I'd like to do then, once this pastry is removed, is I'm going to provide a beautiful fillet for a guest, our first guest. So I move like this, excuse me, and I come across here and I take here onto the sauce with a little bit of the stuffing on the herbs and the last piece here just to finish it off. Beautiful, like that. And we put some pastry back for the flavor like that, maybe a little bit more pastry here. And uh, see, Gerardus just put in a, uh, a muscle. And that's the beginning of how we're going to serve this for everybody. Thank you very much, Andrew. I am still uh, very impressed by your dexterity and the way you cut this fish, like at the Paul Bocuse restaurant in France. <laughs> Thank you. And a piece of pastry, like that. You got um, Andrew, Metro de Extraordinaire. Remember, thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to support the channel and hit the bell, you won't miss a single video.